Hey guys, Xiaomi today let's talk about the fastest free to play team for Dragon Abyss Heart and it is this team right here. I have not made any faster team on my account except for putting an LD95 in but that doesn't count, okay? For a normal person with average rune, this is probably going to be the best option. But actually, this is the best option. The first four unit, if you can build them well, you can put whatever in the fifth slot, it doesn't matter and the team is going to run well. First, we have a Vertihau on very standard attack, good damage and attack build. You do need some speed so that the Vert can move in front of the mid boss and the final boss. But don't worry, you don't need too much speed. Plus 30 to plus 60 is more than enough. Focus on his damage output and if you can, get some shield rune in there so that he can survive just in case the mid boss doesn't get any attack bar reduction from Veromos or Spectra, then he might get hit from the crystal. But for the most part, he'll be just fine on a full damage build. If you can, put damage on fire and some extra crit damage in the artifact. Next up, we have Lauren on a double fight accuracy set. This is my most optimal build for Lauren, but you don't have to. You can be using swift focus, swift energy, I don't care. Just make sure that your Lauren have good accuracy, minimum 65, and she is the fastest in your team. As you can see, I only have 58 accuracy, but because of this rune set right here, and also some extra accuracy in the artifact. Contrary to popular belief, I don't like her on Violent Rune. Unless you're using your Siege Lauren, okay? You put it on Violent Revenge or whatever, then it's totally fine. But if you're using the Lauren only for Dragon, then I would not want her to be on Violent at all because she'll be moving constantly, wasting time, and because she doesn't have good AI, she will not keep her skill too available when you need her to use it anyway. So her being on Violet doesn't really give any extra value except wasting your time in this dungeon. Next up, we have Spectra. A lot of people build Spectra really, really fast. But if you're only using Spectra for this dungeon, then I think her being slow is going to be totally fine. Because in the first turn in the boss stage, Spectra can use skill 2. And if you don't have defense break from Lauren, then you'll be wasting 100,000 damage easily. So I have my Spectra slower than Lauren and maximize in terms of damage output. So I have attack good damage and attack because of skill 1, skill a little bit with attack so that the skill 1 can kill the crystal and the trash wave a bit easier. And I have some accuracy to push back the attack by the tower and the main boss if she land the attack by pushback. But not too important, okay? Maximize on damage because she can do or she is the biggest damage dealer in this boss. In the fourth slot, we have Veramos. Probably the best unit for this dungeon because of the attack by pushback, the cleanse, the heal, and the big daddy damage super crush in skill 2. I have my own rage, speak with damage and attack so that the skill 1 can do good damage in the trash wave as well. But for the most part, you want Veramos to be using skill 2 to do the big damage in the boss stage. Crit damage on artifact and damage fire on the artifact. But you don't have to be using Rage Blade speed with damage attack like me. This is just optimized for dragons. You can be using your violent build for your siege. I don't really care. But make sure to have your Veramos on crit damage, okay? If you can make your Veramos a bit faster, it'll be a bit safer in the trash wave because if the crystal defense break your team and Veramos can cut in between and cleanse the defense break, that will be very important to keep your team alive. So with these four units, you can already clear Dragon, okay? A minute 20, minute 30, but with these four units, you can clear Dragon just fine. So the last unit will do either two things or both. Make the run safer or make the run faster. So if you want to make it safer in the Dragon Abyss and you want some sort of AoE attack bar reduction, the most free-to-play option you can put in will be Lapis. She's actually amazing in Dragon Abyss because she can absorb attack bar, reduce enemy attack bar, and potentially AoE defense break to clear the trash way faster. But of course, she's not going to be the best B-team unit. But hey, if you need a unit to make your dragon safer without any need for skill up, all these skill up doesn't give her any extra benefit of cooldown or absorption rate or anything. Just a bit more damage, which means you don't really need them to make your Lapis better. Of course, you can also be using any other attack bar reduction unit like Teor, Abigail, or anything you can think of, okay? Fire Robo, for that sake. This also means that a month old account with the runes that they give you for free to start the game can probably do Dragon Abyss Heart totally free to play with this team. So my personal team is with Crow to make the run faster. So my Crow is on Rage Accuracy. I love this rune set so much. I don't know why I have this rune in this one, which is perfect for my Crow. It gives the team more accuracy, give himself more accuracy, for the most part, I want Crow to kill the mid boss fast, so I have damage on fire. 
and I want Crow to land the branding on the final boss, so I have accuracy in skill 3. If my Crow can land branding on the boss and Spectra or maybe Violent proc into another skill 2, then the boss will be clear so quickly because the Spectra go from doing 100,000 to 140,000 damage. It is absolutely amazing. You don't need Crow to be doing crazy damage. So I actually trying to get more accuracy in Crow like this rune right here, which is not very optimal for damage dealing, but because of the branding that he can give for the boss, it is so amazing. And Crow cannot out damage the Veramos or the Spectra in this boss anyway. So I have more accuracy so that Crow can do more branding. I've also tried using other damage dealer like Lin or Sigmarus to do more damage on the boss thanks to their skill 3. But the trash wave speed clear becomes so much slower without Crow. Because Crow can provide defense break and Crow actual damage on the crystal is much better than Veramos or Spectra or Lin can ever do. I have even tried the water homunculus on the AOE defense break build and the max HP damage skill 3 which is probably the most optimal build for Dragon but the animation is so long and because you cannot control which one he's gonna use let's say he decides to use this more in the boss stage and he decides to use this more in the trash wave then the run doesn't become any faster anyway. So after trying all the other damage dealer, the Dark Inugami Crow end up being the fastest on average. So we have figured out how to clear the boss stage easily. How do we clear the trash way faster? The only way is with AoE defense breaker like a Galleon, for example. So we have Galleon in here, we have an AoE damage dealer in here and the run become faster. Yes, it's true, but it is no longer safe and because Galleon AI is so stupid, there's so many runs where Galleon will decide to go skill 2 in the boss stage and suddenly you waste so many turns not doing any damage and then the next turn he used this and it get resisted and then boom, your team is done. So it's not really that safe at all in the boss stage for Galleon to be there, it is unfortunate. That is the way. So I've tried pretty much everything I could think of for damage dealer. I dropped being free to play and just trying to make the best team with Galleon and any other team I could come up with. It's just not that consistent because of Galleon inconsistency with using the skill or just actually landing the defense break. So that's pretty sad. I also saw this team from Drew Bagel, but then this girl doesn't do any real damage at all. So it ended up not being faster than my normal free to play team anyway. So after trying all the Galleon variation, I always come back to this because this is just safer, more consistent, and also free to play so I can actually recommend to y'all. I've also tried putting my best rage set on these funny little unit and they all end up doing pretty mediocre damage, not so crazy. Like, it's just it's just not good, guys. D don't bother, okay? But if somehow Crow is not safe for you and the team is not consistent enough, feel free to use any other unit that can push back the attack bar AoE to make your run safer during the boss stage. Most people will die during the boss stage anyway because they can't kill the main boss fast enough. So any AoE attack bar pushback like Terror or Abigail is okay. But I think the safest free-to-play version will probably be with this guy because he can also strip provide pushback, very good damage with this and also branding for the boss. But because of his longer animation and he take a lot of turn, he's going to be slower than the crow version, but safer for sure, like way safer. I've also thought of using twin, okay? I definitely try. I put all my best rage on these twin and they never come close to killing the boss. I don't know how people do it. The quality of the rune for the twin team to work without Debra or Martina is absolutely insane. I don't recommend because the requirement is just really, really hard for 99% of the player base in the game. You don't have the rage for that. And if you do have the rage to get the crit damage requirement, you need a rageous attack stat to boost the twin damage as well. It's just not really worth it. And then I saw Seishi's old video and I was just like, are you serious right now? <laughs> the rune quality requirement it's just so crazy and it only boosts my run by like 5 seconds. So I go back to this and just say fuck it. Like I'm, I'm gonna be out that free to play guy and just farm a little bit slower. Fine by me. What if I try to clear the trash wave really really fast with Galleon alone without the vert? So it kind of worked but it is very very unsafe because the moment you miss anything from Galleon in the boss stage, 
then the immunity go up, you lose immediately. Unlike Giant, you can miss the first turn and it's gonna be okay because there's no immunity. But then here you miss and you, you lose immediately. But anyway, after trying out all the possible combination, this is just the best team. Look at the five most used unit in this dungeon. It's also the same five unit. So it's either this or people who have Debra or Martina, they can run their twin, okay? We are normal people without LD four star premium nonsense. We have to use the free to play team and make it better. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.